the car looks like a fish from the front and you can see there is a quite a good leg space here 160 180 hello and welcome everyone to my channel where you join me with this Toyota Corolla 2018 model 1.6 liter This is one of the most commonly used Toyota car in the Middle Eastern region. Mostly they are used to buy the rent -a cars or commercial company cars because the best thing they have is the fuel economy, the build quality. Yeah, this car was made in Taiwan. First of all, the looks, the looks, the car looks like a fish from the front, but it's quite manageable though. And uh, yeah, the video is coming from Dubai because the car is in Dubai. It's a four door, quite spacious. I'm a six foot tall man and you can see there is a quite a good leg space here and quite roomy inside yeah you can see the dashboard is quite minimal with no touch control multimedia navigation just have the radio and i believe there is a bluetooth system in this one which you can connect to your phone and play some songs and other stuff if we go for the front this one has a 1.6 liter engine it's not quite a big engine though it says 1.6 liter engine through vvti technology and yeah it puts out around 140 horsepower and around 120 to 30 newton meters of torque that goes it's quite hot today so let's go for a drive then The driving position, if you want to say, is quite good. Uh, for me, it's fine. I can go forward, backward. It's a manual. The seat adjustment, you can make it re recline. And sometimes you can make it... Yeah, there's quite a good adjustment though for being the entry-level car for a Corolla. These are the new models. They change the dashboard this one is quite around now it's like two to three years now this one has been here the steering there is a quite adjustment of steering you can move it backward upward and then move around this one has a multimedia steering wheel where you can control your volume the channels and as I said, there was a Bluetooth, so you can take the call, cut the call, and you can speak. The good thing about this car, let me start driving. Yeah, good thing that I was talking about this car is this one. It has, let me show you. This one has this. This one is a cruise control for a Toyota. 
so if you want to find a cruise control in Toyota Yeri Toyota cars you will find it here not in the this one multimedias this one has the cruise control that's the most good thing because in the Middle Eastern region highway speed is around 140 kilometers per hour in average and keeping the speed limited in 140 is quite a difficult job and for that the cruise control helps a lot From the reviews, the other reviews are official magazine reviews of this car as it says that the acceleration is a bit sluggish as this one has a CVT, the continu continuous variable transmission but i don't feel it to be sluggish maybe it can be depends on different cars or the combinations of how the cars is been taken care from the point of which i am driving this car if i want to say that see this one is picking up quite good so i don't think so and as as it's going well i can feel the torque that coming through the car or the engine so if if you can take a good care of this this uh, these cars can go along around like more than 200 300 thousand kilometers it will be fine it, it's just a well maintenance like servicing after every 10 to 20 thousand kilometers and it will be fine then because as we know toyota already has a reputation of cars all the time like the land cruisers and land cruiser pickups or the land cruiser the big SUVs and the toyota cambrys the toyota corollas they have toyota avalons the the asian countries like the japanese and all of those specs they have the toyota premios the toyota axios the steering is assisted as you can say it's so soft you don't have to give too much to change the steering right or left it's just gonna glide through your hand you just have to assist it with it and yeah everything looks fine though these cars the Toyota Yaris these cars have a great value in the used to market because of the main thing that everyone cares is the fuel economy the fuel economy in these cars are very nice like if you if you go through around like 35 liters of fuel you can put on and you can go for around like 400 to 500 kilometers so that the Middle Eastern and American specs are same like this type of car you can find if you want to compare this with the European versions like what the Europeans get there that's totally different in the Europe's the European cars the Toyota Corolla in Europe looks totally different you can't match it even though their body and build everything is different this this car came from Taiwan maybe the Toyota in the this one the Toyota in the Europe's they build there in the Europe because their model and styling everything looks a little bit different and the main thing is the European people or the UK people they like the hatchback most and the American and the um, Middle Eastern here it goes more the sedans rather than the hatchbacks so the sedans are more popular here yeah it's quite comfortable though you can the seats are quite nice as it is clothy that's fine it don't get worn too much but they're comfortable they have some foam the brake is also nice as you can see someone is trying to have accident with me yeah the brakes are fine it has a manual handbrake if you want to try drifting or something I don't want to recommend you on that this gear works has a manual upshift and downshift as you can see there is four three two one but it doesn't count that much because as everyone knows or if you don't know how a CVT works a CVT is a like two conical shaped transmission uh, 
two conical shaped transmission connected with the belt that's how like one conical gets more and one conical get less so there is infinite number of variable gears you can go through that's why it's called continuously variable transmission it doesn't have the helical gears like other like six speed or seven speed gears and it's quite reliable though maybe you can think the belt will go the belt will not go worn out it's quite easy to drive it doesn't have anything to do with it you just do it with one pedal and when you go for the highway I believe you can hear me there is a quite of noise coming from the tires from the roads but it's quite manageable when you have your sound system going through having the radio and everything I hope you can manage everything as as per the cost like with the how much cost you're uh, giving I don't think you can expect anything more from this one the gear is stuck there that's the CVT is working on now see if I want to see how much more I can go on this one 160 180 oh there is a camera but yeah it it does have a quite a good acceleration to keep up with all the cars in the roads as a 1.6d it doesn't feel like you don't have the power to be within the highway don't feel like that Toyotas are clever the people in the Toyota they have everything in their mind so don't bother with that one the used market they have they have very they have their value like the depreciation that goes through with every car after the sale for for the uh, for the cars like this Toyota Yara, Toyota Yaris or Toyota Corolla the depreciation uh, comes very very slowly unless the car is in an accident or happened with any mechanical issues or anything unless if it runs well the value it holds for a very long time as I've seen uh, this one with a hundred and eleven thousand the uh, 111,000 kilometer in the audiometer you can see so uh, after all these years like it is a, it's a 2018 model and now it's 2021 after three years and 111,000 kilometer after if you want to sell your uh, what you called other cars they don't really keep the value this much in the ratio of how much you paid like if you wanna if you if you think about a 2018 S class if you just take an example if you want to take a 2018 BMW uh, Mercedes S class as 500 if you if you want to buy that one or people who have bought it in 2018 they would have paid around like 400,000 dirhams or something and now if you want to search some around 2018 and 110,000 uh, kilometers of audiometer audiometer uh, is, uh, in the cars you can easily find them as a 50% discount if you if you have them even though they are in the good condition with no accident and everything so the value of money you are giving for those and the value of money you are giving for these are totally quite different though I believe who have a who for the people who want to buy these these cars and have a uh, go with them is those who are preparing to have them for long term or don't want to go through many types of hassles with the german qualities because every uh, the toyota is always uh, reputable with their long term engine builds and the car quality and everything so if if someone just want a car they don't want to grow through any hassle or anything and just go through and buy it it will at least give you a one year headless performance or usability if you want to say that way that's all for today I hope you liked it and it will be informative for you guys if you like it give it a subscribe and
and thumbs up. Cheers.